Christine Johnson Sewing Friends. So welcome to our uh, segment in our sew along on how to sew your first boyfriend jacket. We are gonna be talking today about how to choose the perfect size for your boyfriend jacket. And uh, we wanna talk a little bit about ease and about how that works whether you choose a woven, a stretch woven, or a stretch knit fabric like Ponte Knit. So inside of your pattern jacket, you will see a document in here called um, Surging Cotton and Lycra Fabric. Okay, it's a general guide. And in there, Christine gives you some tips for working with cotton and lycra fabrics, which is a great choice for the boyfriend jacket. You can also use a Ponte knit. Um, but in there, on the back, she also gives you some information about ease and choosing non-stretch fabrics. So it's actually in your guide right in here, choosing non-stretch fabrics. Um, if the boyfriend jacket has ease in it, it's got, depending on the size you choose, between two and four inches of ease um, in the boyfriend jacket. So it's a slightly oversized garment. So if you were to make this in a woven in your size, it would likely fit, and it would probably fit without a problem. But what you wanna be sure is that when you're working with a sewing pattern, that you take into consideration the hip measurement and whether you can button the jacket. Now, a lot of people don't necessarily wanna button a jacket, and that's okay too. But I'm gonna go ahead and put on a boyfriend jacket and kinda of show you what I mean. All right, so I have a handy dandy boyfriend jacket right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip this one on. I believe this one is a small. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip this one on so you can see what I'm talking about. And like I said, the boyfriend has quite a bit of ease in it. So even in your size, you might need to size down if you're making it in a stretch knit fabric. So this is a boyfriend jacket in a small size. And as you can see, it fits over my hips, right? But if I were to choose if I were to make this in a woven fabric and not the stretch knit fabric, this is probably not enough ease. And the reason why I say that is if you look here, if I were to sit down in this jacket and it weren't a stretch fabric, it is fitting snug right here at the sides. So if this were made in say a wool, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fit me correctly if I have it buttoned up. So Christine developed over the years this concept of choosing fabrics based on their stretch characteristics and it evolved into something that she calls the perfect sizing worksheet. And I'm gonna grab that and show it to you. By the way, this is a download at cjpatterns.com blog, and you can go ahead and download it. We also have an extensive video on how to use the perfect sizing worksheet. So I'm not gonna cover all the details about how to use the perfect sizing worksheet. I'm just gonna talk about it in the context of the boyfriend jacket. So the idea behind the perfect sizing worksheet is that you take into consideration the stretch characteristics of the fabric that you're working with. So if I were making this boyfriend jacket in a wool that has no stretch right now, I would probably not be able to button this and work with it comfortably because this is a small boyfriend jacket. Okay, this is actually probably, I think it may even be an extra small. This is a small boyfriend jacket. I need a little bit more room in the hips if I wanna feel comfortable. But this is a stretch fabric, so I don't really have to worry about it. As you can see, it fits, okay? I've got enough room here in the bust and enough room in the bodice to be able to, to move around, and I'm not uncomfortable because this happens to be a stretch fabric. But if I were to make this in a woven, I would need to go up a size in order for me to feel comfortable. So that's what the perfect sizing worksheet helps you do. So the gist of the perfect sizing worksheet is that you calculate the maximum stretch percentage using what's called tissue pattern measurements. Now also inside your um, boyfriend jacket envelope is a document called tissue pattern measurements. And also we also have that linked on the page where you'll find this perfect sizing worksheet as well. So the tissue pattern measurements are what the pattern actually measures in your size, okay? Less seam allowances. So if you take your ruler and you measured you put the, the front of the jacket, less the facings, the back of the jacket, and the front of the other side of the jacket, and you measured all the way across, and it said 41 inches, and you know your hips are 42 finished measurements, you know that that jacket is not gonna fit you in the hips, right? So that's the idea behind the tissue pattern measurements. And you can actually measure any sewing pattern, but Christine has already done the hard work for you, and she's provided the tissue pattern measurements for you um, in the boyfriend jacket pattern itself, as well as most of our other patterns. So the tissue pattern measurement allows you to calculate what it would actually take if the fabric had no stretch or if it had lots of stretch. So let's say you made the boyfriend jacket in swimsuit fabric. You would never make it in swimsuit fabric. Please don't do that. 
But let's say you did. Swimsuit fabric has four-way stretch, stretch characteristics and it's super stretchy. It's got like 100% stretch in either direction. So you can take a square of swimsuit fabric and stretch it all the way out to here. Now obviously at that maximum stretch, it's not gonna look really good, right? If you've ever seen people kind of sandwich themselves into swimsuits that are too small, you know what I mean? The fabric gets shiny and it stretches out too much or yoga pants that are too small is probably a better example. So you're never gonna work with the fabric at its maximum stretch. What you wanna do is simply, simply calculate, do you need to go up a size or down a size? Now, the whole idea behind the boyfriend jacket is you're just gonna be determining, do you need to go down one size or do you need to go up one size? And that's all, pretty much all the range you're gonna be working with. You are not gonna say, I'm an extra small and I'm working with a woven, now all of a sudden I'm gonna to need to make a large. That's not the case. You're gonna maybe, if you're, if you're an extra small, you're gonna maybe make a small in a woven as opposed to an extra small. Um, and, and if you're, same conversely, if you're an extra large and you're making it a ponte knit, you're not all of a sudden gonna sew a small. You're gonna sew maybe a large because you have some stretch characteristics to the fabric, they're gonna make it comfortable for you to wear in a more fitted size. But you're looking to have a little bit of ease in the garment, and the ease is built in. You can see this has still got a little bit of ease, even though when I button it, it's, you know, I don't have a whole lot of ease in here, right? It's touching the back of me back here in my hips, and it's touching the side of my hips right over here, right? So this one, if I made this in a woven, would not fit me very well. It would not be very comfortable. I'd have to leave it open, which I do most of the time anyway. That's the other thing with a jacket too. If you're never gonna button it, you can probably go the same size you would always make. So that's the importance of ease when you're talking about using the perfect sizing worksheet and it's selecting the right fabric. Now, let's talk a little bit about the fabric choices. We talked a little bit about this yesterday. So you can make the boyfriend jacket in a ponte, which is like this, stretch ponte knit. You can make the boyfriend jacket in a non-stretch wool. You could make it in a stretchy wool if you wanted to. What you're looking to do is to figure out, is the size that you're choosing the size that's gonna fit you best? Now, I also wanna talk about the boyfriend jacket sizing a little bit here because if you look on the back of the envelope, the envelope says extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. So you're like, okay, so I have a 42 inch hip. So a medium is 40, or actually, I'm sorry, a 42, a medium is 42, and a large is 46, and let's say I'm a 45. So you say, well, I should probably make a large. Maybe not. And the reason why is if you're working with a stretch fabric, you might need to look at the tissue pattern measurements to determine whether it would be comfortable for you to go down a size and make a medium. That's the whole goal of figuring out the stretch characteristics of your fabric. Do you need to go down a size to, because the boyfriend jacket's already a little bit roomy. The other thing you need to factor in too is that all of these sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large, are built in two size groupings. So a small is six eight, but that means that the size that you're looking at on the envelope is for the eight. So if you're a six, it's gonna fit roomier. That makes sense? So if the, if the um, hip measurements on an extra small are 34 and a half, that's a 34 and a half for the, essentially the size eight. So if you're a six, if you're a 32 hip, if you're pretty small and you're a 32 inch hip, this one's gonna fit you with a little bit more ease. So that's the whole goal. Sorry about that, I had little notifications popping down on the top of my screen there. Isn't that irritating? I should really turn those off while I'm doing videos, right? So, um, so again, back to size characteristics or fabric characteristics. You can choose a stretch woven, a stretch stretch fabric, a knit fabric, or you can choose a woven fabric. So the only goal that you wanna choose is when you choose your size, is to pick a size that's gonna fit you well given the stretch characteristics of your fabric. A linen, for example, is not inherently stretchy, but a linen is a very relaxed fabric. So as you wear linen, if you've ever worn a pair of linen pants, you're gonna be able to attest to this. As you wear a pair of linen pants, throughout the day those linen pants kind of grow a little bit larger. That's exactly what's gonna to happen to your linen boyfriend jacket as you wear it. It's gonna feel a little bit larger. So you might need to go down a size, even making it in a woven like at a linen, depending on the characteristics of the, the weave of the fabric that you're choosing. So what I would like everyone to do at the end of this video as you're sewing, our, sewing your boyfriend jacket is to look at the size and measurement chart on the back of the envelope, look at the tissue pattern measurements and grab your perfect sizing worksheet. Now, before you fill out the perfect sizing worksheet, I want you to determine on the back of the, um, the envelope what you think your size should be based on, most likely, your hip measurement. Um, 
it's either going to be your bust or your hip measurement, right? Because the jacket is skimming through the waist, but it's not tight. So you just want to make sure it fits nicely in the bust. And you want to make sure it fits nicely over your hips. So those are going to be your two key areas of the boyfriend jacket. So you're going to look at the bust fit. Large and extra large have bust darts. Um, the other sizes do not. Um, and you're going to look at the fit in the hips. And you're going to make sure, okay, I should be sewing a large. And then I want you to go to the stretch characteristics of your fabric. Are you using a stretch fabric? If so, you might need to look at the perfect sizing worksheet to go down a size. If you're using a woven, you're good. Start sewing. <laughs> because if you're using a woven and your hips are going to fit inside that jacket when it's finished, you're good, right? And you want a couple of inches of ease, but not too much ease, right? Because this jacket is a little bit oversized. So if you are using a stretch fabric, you're going to look to see if maybe you need to make down a size, down one size, and so you're going to fill out the perfect sizing worksheet. Now the perfect sizing worksheet calculates the maximum stretch percentage, but none of you are going to work with the maximum stretch percentage. You're never going to put on a jacket that you have to go and button up like you do your jeans, right? In the morning, how many of you, after a summer of fun in the sun and having a good time at parties and things, had a little trouble zipping your jeans? come fall. Well, you want it to be the same way with your jackets. You don't want to put on your jacket next fall and go, or after Christmas and go, ooh, I have to stretch this way out to get it over me, right? You want to have a little bit of room in there. So you want uh, between two and four inches of ease. And the, the ease recommendations are actually in the patent envelope for this particular jacket. So you want a couple of inches of ease because it is a jacket. It's meant to be worn over shirts, over turtlenecks, over pants, over other things, right? So you need a little bit of ease. It's not like a, a bodysuit where you don't want any ease at all. Um, so that's the that's what I'd like you to do. So everyone should go out and pick their size off the envelope and then determine whether you need to look at the stretch characteristics of your fabric and then go forth and select your size. Now, uh, as we've had several questions uh, in our Boyfriend Jacket Sew Along of how the Sew Along works. So I want to go ahead and explain how the Sew Along works. So the Sew Along is not classes. We're providing you with a lot of great additional information in these live videos, but we are not going to be hosting a class. And the reason for that is because if we were hosting a class, we would have a professional videographer, we would do a lot of takes, we would cover a lot of segments, we'd be sewing it you know, right next to you and showing you things, we'd have studio lighting, and you would probably pay $89 to access this class. But we're not. This is just a sew along. It's a chance for all of us to get together to sew the garment together as we all would um, if we were sewing in our sewing rooms only with a little bit more fun and a little bit of expert help from me and also from, from folks on our um, Christine Johnson Sewing Circle who have made this jacket and loved it. So you're going to get lots of expert advice. Um, so what I'm hoping that everyone will do is to kind of join in with us and we're starting a little slow because we want everyone to get up to speed. Also because this jacket really does take about two and a half hours to sew and that means we wouldn't need two weeks to do it if we all just sat down our sewing machine and started sewing. We're going to go ahead and focus on cutting out our boyfriend jacket later in the week and I want to give you some tips and techniques that Christine uses to cut out her jackets and to kind of show you how you can even adjust the size a little bit that you're doing when you're um, when you're doing your cutting which is kind of a really neat thing so I want to show you that too so right now we're focusing on the size of our boyfriend jacket so go to your stash pick out some fabric let's calculate your size take a look at stretch percentage go ahead and post on our Christine Johnson patterns Facebook group go ahead and post in our comments on Instagram or go ahead and post on our blog about any questions you might have about sizing or what size you should be but if you're going to be posting on there, my bust is a 36 inches and I want to know what size to be, I'm going to direct you back to the pattern envelope. I'm not going to tell you what size you are because I want to empower you to begin to understand how to match pattern and fabric and size to choose the right size. I'm not going to say, oh, 36, you should be a small or you should be a medium or whatever it is. I'm going to say, these are the steps that you need to take to determine what size would be best for you. And then you can go forward and sew the boyfriend jacket confidently knowing that when you make it next time, let's say your bust goes up or it goes back down or your hips get bigger or they get a little smaller, you can confidently know how to adjust the boyfriend jacket the next time you sew it. So thanks so much for joining us today, everybody. I hope this was helpful. Um, you can post on our cjpatterns.com um, blog, you can post on Facebook, or you can post in our private Facebook sewing circle, or you can put out a comment on Instagram. We will answer them all. Thanks for joining us.